Hey guys, I'm LB, and we are going to check out Lasers and Tractor Beams, a level for LB, apparently. Yes. I don't know, I mostly made it for a YouTuber called LB so he'd play it, but meh. Well, that doesn't exactly sound very encouraging, and just for reference, No You is also known as W Productions. But, uh, yeah, let's- let's see what we're in for here. They- they didn't really seem very enthusiastic in the description of their map, so... Not sure how the quality is gonna be, but we'll find out. Well, it needs to be better lit. That's something that's immediately apparent. You need better lighting like that. That is the only lighting source that I can see in here, really. So you need more light strips, that's for sure. What does this do? Also, these ant lines are a mess. You definitely want to make sure that the ant lines aren't, like, crisscrossing over each other like this. And the way you can do it is by either, like, blocking them with ant lines, or if you have B-Mod, you can use ant line blockers, or ant line routers and stuff, and you can control the ant lines a bit better that way. But, in general, when you have messy ant lines, you want to clean it up. We have... a... laser, which is not at ground level, interestingly. Why is this button so far away from the dropper? That's what I want to know. Did it need to be that far away? Otherwise, you should just put buttons, like, underneath the dropper, so that way people know... ...that they go together, without having to follow the ant lines. Where's the safe way to take me? Up here? Why, though? Why, indeed? Well... Let's see what this cube can activate for us. If anything. Also, what is that portal surface for? Okay, I guess we don't need that just yet. Well, that's... <laughs> okay then. <laughs> I forgot that would happen. Let's do that. And then... Something like this, maybe? Yeah, that seems to work. So then I need to move to this one, and this- we're gonna do something with the laser at some point, right? Well, apparently there's just a button with no signage here. It has no signage, so it must be... not connected to anything. Now, it's probably connected to something. But you really should put signage on everything. Hey, look at that! That's suddenly magically open now. Yeah, why didn't that have signage? Like, you could at least leave one of them as having signage turned on, instead of turning signage off for all of them. What is this laser for, though? Oh, apparently something in there activates that flip panel, which will allow us to shoot the laser into that. Which... makes the laser kind of... pointless in that case, but whatever. Whatever. Let's just take this with us into the other room, since I'm guessing we're gonna need it. And hey, what do you know, there's a button with no signage. It is very dark in here. Ouch. And that's also... excessive. These things... these things use a lot... of objects when they get compiled, so you should generally avoid using them. But yeah, you definitely need more lights in here, it is extremely dark and difficult to see. Am I really expected to jump over this gap? Don't require parkour like that in your map, that's generally a bad idea. Oh, that's on a timer, huh? Why, though? Alright, well, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye! Uh, by the way, I would recommend checking out Demon Arisen's series on making good great test chambers and Rectorox's guide. Links in the description.